I was at a Kmart, and uh, there was a, uh, a police department display. They had the cherry picker out. The kids were going up for rides in a couple cop cars. But they had those damn police tanks out there, and uh, the guys that were walking around them weren't wearing, like, T-shirts with, you know, yellow police on the back. They were wearing green, like, EDU-type uniforms with baseball caps, and I thought that was kind of odd. And I, just, I was just curious if anyone else had seen something yeah, like I'm that. Yeah, I'm looking for my article here. Here it is. Marine aircraft causes damage in neighborhood. They thought it was a big storm or even tornado that caused damage to their properties. Then they realized it was a low-flying military aircraft. And it says it happened Tuesday evening on Willow Street in Frankfurt. A Marine Corps officer said it was part of an urban training exercise where the Osprey aircraft, very dangerous, by the way. Those things are always crashing. They don't even let those fly over cities usually, but land in tight spaces. Neighbors say the aircraft was flying right over the rooftops. An Osprey. Do you have any idea how deadly dangerous? Those things aren't even cleared to fly yet, I thought. They're the tilt... Tilt, pull up an Osprey. Yeah, yeah, the tilt wing aircraft with the big propellers. Captain Robert Schufer, the 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit, apologized to neighbors. Folks, Delta Force crashed in Houston. Delta Force fired into an all-night restaurant in Miami, hitting the table. Pieces of glass went in the woman's face. They bribed the San Antonio government until the police chief stopped it. They tried to bribe the Travis County government. I mean, this is on record. The, the Army is involved putting liaison officers in everywhere. They're involved taking over, and they're doing urban warfare drills, admittedly, to acclimate the public. We've had them come up to us in Hebron, Maryland, and say, turn your cameras off or we're going to arrest you as they practice taking over the city hall. Now, what's happening here? Now they just admit no longer is it drills. Yeah, there's an Osprey, deadly dangerous. That Those were flying over people's houses. Okay. Gigantic aircraft. Incredible thrust on those babies. I mean, that'll rip the shingles right off roofs. You get within 100 feet of a house. Anyway, side issue. The point is, I've, I've read a lot about these because they're always crashing, killing the troops. And the pen, even Rumsfeld said it was the greatest lemon ever known. But because it's a special interest or behind it, oh, we've got to have it. And of, course, and, of course, they'll probably crash over neighborhoods. And thank you for blowing up on my house. I love the troops. And now they have regular Army Marines everywhere running checkpoints. And if you say you don't want troops, good old boys call up drunk and go, You damn commie! It's good to have troops running America! I appreciate your call, Scott. Yes, they have armored vehicles and helicopters and the police have been militarized and they swagger around. In fact, I have that in my stack where all over the country they're announcing, oh, yes, we want citizens to spy on their neighbors to fight al-Qaeda. They've been doing this for years, but now it's a big push. And you go to the meetings, this has been in the news, and they spend 5 to 15 minutes after the free donuts and Cokes and coffee on al-Qaeda. And next they go, here's Sergeant Bob from the local department. He liaised on with the FBI and Homeland Security. Thank you, citizens. Do you smell marijuana? Click. This is what the plant looks like. Use your neighbor spank the, the child. When you're in your neighbor's house, do you see anything that looks illegal? Report it. You can get up to $200. I mean, this is word for word. We have the training videos. But again, the public like goes to this. The good old boys go there and sit. I want to fight Al-Qaeda. I'm going to the meeting. They go and they sit and they go, all right. Here's Al-Qaeda. Here's a training video. They want to kill you. Next. And they march in. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't have time. I had to get to my plane. Okay, I had to get to my plane Saturday morning. I had to get into the Bozeman, uh, the uh, Billings uh, Airport, and get out of there. For some reason, the elevator opened on the third floor. I look out, and there are all these Girl Scouts with a Homeland Security sign, and they're milling around, and we're already late. I go and get the guys, don't even tell them about it, and leave. Now, it's been announced nationwide that 3.4 million Girl Scouts are, quote, going to look for terrorists and help get the message of Homeland Security across. So the little kids are now selling, and I love the Fuhrer. They got Boy Scouts in the New York Times. The New York Times says it's great, by the way. Training to, quote, take on disgruntled veter veterans and gun owners in, quote, seek and destroy missions. People like, oh, mow down those 14-year-olds. They're going to be 18 in four years. No, you won't. The people laughed at the Hitler Jugend in 1933. They weren't laughing a few years later when they were jumping out of planes as paratroopers over Greece. The point here is that 
I mean, I can't get away from this. The door is open, and it's Homeland Security and little kids. And it was so sick and so evil, I stepped out and looked for about 10 seconds with horror and saw cops, and I couldn't go get a camera and tape it. You know, I was like repulsed. I was Ugh, kind of got in the elevator and just went, had my coffee and was like, Jesus, help me. And I mean, literally going, uh, I mean, I can't handle this anymore, folks. Elevators are opening. There's Stasi everywhere. I mean, it's it, I, <laughs> there's, there's foreigners taking over in police departments. Are, it's, it's insanity, ladies and gentlemen. We're, America is known where the dumb idiot schmucks live that'll put up with anything and have never seen tyranny they don't love. I mean, do you understand that we're falling like Germany? The Germans were hardworking, trustful people that followed orders. Look what happened. It happens everywhere else, folks. I, I mean, I, I, I kind of blocked that Girl Scout thing out of my mind. And, and I didn't want to go get a camera and try to take girls from the back because you're not supposed to show kids' faces. And I didn't want to have the cops and parents run over. And it was so sickening, I almost went and got a hidden camera to tape it. But it's in the news They're at Homeland Security meetings. So I just closed the elevator and kind of shook in the corner. We'll be right back. See, that's what I'm talking about. There is so much tyranny I read about, I witness, that when people think I exaggerate how bad things are, no. I had forgotten that I had the elevator had opened on level three at the big hotel whatever, it's the biggest building in Billings, 17 stories. The, the, the doors had opened, and it was Homeland Security with the Girl Scouts, and there were police in uniforms, and I was like, Ugh, and just went back into the elevator. It's like the movie The Body Snatchers, where he finally makes it to the highway, and he's, he's running, and he's going, we're in danger, they're coming, they're taking over, you got to warn everybody, and people are like, get out of here, buddy, you're drunk pushing him out of the 18-wheeler cab, and he, he looks in the back of the 18-wheeler, and there are the seed pods. You know, I'd just been in the town nearby where foreign mercenaries were taking over, and it was all, and then I'm back in Billings and walk off the elevator, and, and then I'm trying to fly back to Austin, and they were total Nazis to old ladies and screaming at everyone and treating everybody like crap. See, they were told to do that seven years ago to get everybody trained. But now phase two is to act friendly and have a cool fan blowing on you. Homeland Security admits they changed the uniforms to blue to make it soothing. But I guess that hasn't gotten in there. They are polite now. But see, we've already been trained to be slaves. And now they intensify with what they have you do. This was still the old upgrade. And it was, it was just hellish. And, and folks, you're being trained to be a slave for a reason. They are going to take your standard of living. They're going to micromanage your life. Alex, I wanted to relate to you real quickly uh, on Dr. Bill Deagle's show this past Thursday, October 1st. Uh, Dr. Deagle's guest was Dr. Alan Truott, I believe, because Dr. Deagle refers to him sometimes as Dr. Ott, but I believe it's Dr. Alan Truott, who has done extensive research into the American Police Force Group entity, and he said that his research shows that the parent company of the American Police Force Group is a company named Phoenix International, and that the parent company of Phoenix International is DynCor. and we've all heard that name. <clears throat> Dr. Truott reports that the headquarters of Phoenix International is in the Langley, Virginia area, and Dr. Truott also re related that George Soros is largely invested in All right, well, DynCorp. listen, listen, I'm out of time. I'm going to talk about this more tomorrow. There are some connections to that group, Allied Defense Systems and a bunch of others, but all those groups are saying that they met with the Hilton character, the mercenary guy, but that they're not with him. And now he's removed all their names off their sites. So either he's a total con man or he could be connected to these groups. We don't know. We're still investigating. Yes, I was on the ground in Harden. We have a full report tomorrow.